looks like the beavers have been getting high out here. <laughs> they can climb on these things. I don't know. Welcome to Sunday exploring. First time out in this area in three months. I kind of gave up on this place. I did. Because about five times in a row, I didn't recover jack. Nothing at all. There was absolutely nothing out here. But there has been some major craziness going on out here. Definitely. So if we don't recover a pocket full of things, or two, two pockets full of magnificent historical ancient items today, maybe I'll have to give it another three months. I don't know, but that'll be like June or something when I come back. <laughs> We're going to have to look slow. I'm going to be out here all day. Let's pray that we can set the jug down as we examine some of the items out here. Let's go ahead and get started with it. Yeah. I always have to look at everything that looks strange. But it's going to be nice and toasty today. It's going to be like 74. Last day of February, which means tomorrow is my first day of spring. Bingo. Let's hope we'll be saying bingo at least 20 times <laughs> today. <laughs> bingo with excitement, like I'm in some old folks home or something. I know you're going to say, but Vince, why don't you pick up that white thing that you just flipped up with the, with the foot? Uh, that's probably nothing at all. Because I don't see any major historical napping on it. Yeah, see nothing. Oh, well. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something. I am. I'm trying to figure something out. They gave me a sign last night. They did. They gave me an idea about something. Why I probably wasn't recovering the, the things of historical significance out here in all the places that we've been going to. It's been slim pickings for about four months. I know we found a few here and there. That's it, you know. And I'm not talking about the pottery. The pottery is just a bunch of their ancient garbage. But it's the something about the arrowheads and the spear tips. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is at all with that kind of stuff, though. But they gave me an idea last night. They did. About the, the decorative little, you know, display hand inside the curio cabinet that was holding some very significant items. Six spear tips that we've collected over the course of the last three years, basically. Some very nice pieces. And they gave me this idea about emptying out the hand. Emptying out the hands. So they can be filled up later on. So how are you going to fill up a hand with significant items if it's already full? So I took the objects out and, you know, placed them someplace else. So the hand is empty. The heck is that thing? Oh, it's a dang hand. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and try to see if that's going to work for us today. If I start finding some major things, it's just going to be part of the code. Are the things that you have to look at in life. Yeah. In a different way. So let me go ahead and get started with this adventure. There's bound to be something out here. That are going to fill the pockets. Especially after four months. Three and a half, four months basically. Dang. Oh yeah. 
bingo number one. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly what I want to see. The lawn chair that was trapped right there has been pulled out of here. It was there for like three months. But look, we have a... <laughs> Remember this from May or something like that? Yeah. That's wild. They pulled this thing away. Is this one? Is that one? Is that one? No, it's nothing at all. I just saw an edge on it. There's nothing like recovering that ancient history. What is it? I know I haven't found anything yet. I'm just trying to speak it forward. I'm excited because I came out here like four times in a row up until probably late November. And I kept seeing the same law, uh, lawn chair. I was about to say, yeah, long, log jam too, but lawn chair sitting there. Which told me they didn't do jack. But let's just hope they didn't wipe it all out. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first few times out here. You talk about collecting some major history. Yeah, little hobby. Yeah, but check this thing out. I know. <laughs> Let's leave it be. We're not going to carry this thing out of here. We're not. Yeah, cool. Let's lay it right there. I know you're going to say the venture. That's scary. <laughs> I can't help but I find beat up baby dolls out in heaven. <laughs> Chip off the old block right there. Lovely quartz out here. It is. Yeah, how they made things a long time ago with the geology out here that they chose. It's so nice. And it's very strong. Let's hope it was like it was back in May two artifacts in every single gravel bar yeah let me go ahead and get to this thing man that was a good sign yeah so glad that thing's gone <laughs> all right all right nothing in here that's okay though we'll survive i'm just going to take it slow and be confident that they will give us many things today <laughs> it's nice and hot out here i'm sweating bullets thank the lord for that but yeah i think i might have found something i see an edge on it looks like a bone but i don't think it is that might be another one of those ancient knives let me set the jug down yeah that might be one of their ancient knives i think it's broken though i'm looking at it upside down I see napping on the side, like micro-napping. Yeah, it's been worked all right. That might be one of our ancient knives. We found three knives out here before, like those stabbing devices. Yeah, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom, the right and the left. That's definitely like a broken knife. Yep, yep, look at that thing. Ancient. You talk about archaic. Look at that micro-napping on the side. Yeah, we're going to add this to the pocket right here. I know it's not intact, but that's okay. Ancient stabbing knife. It could be like what you call a spear tip. They work that thing like crazy. Look at that. All right. Third one out here. The top is broken. At least the bottom's there. Good start to the day, even though I've been here for like 43 minutes. And I've gone through quite a bit to find nothing at all until now. Found my first piece of pottery for today. You can barely see it. I lost, but there it is right there. <laughs> I was going to say, Da Vinci, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. A little tiny one. Not even worth collecting. But we have to in order to put the puzzle piece of history back together again. Understand it. So it doesn't get lost forever. It's the last thing we need to happen. And it should never happen. Got another piece and it looks just like a piece of a rock. <laughs> I know it looks just like a rock, but I can tell you right now that's going to be a piece of the pot. A piece of the puzzle. Let me go ahead and lift that thing up. I could be wrong though. You know, I'm not always right. Yes. 
Yeah, it's got a curve on it. Okay. Ancient. Ancient times. Back again. No design on it. Rugged. Add it to the pocket. I'll tell you this much. We're definitely going to be out here all day. We are. What we're looking for is probably going to be downstream a little bit. It is. I've already looked in the water, found nothing at all, but everything is still soft out here. They have turned it up, but this used to be the largest gravel bar in about a 600 foot area out here. And they pushed it all out. Look at that thing right there. Unrecognizable. I know, I just, I'm like a broken record. <laughs> I'm a broken record. I am. Because that's part of, I guess, who I am in my recordings. I don't watch TV. I told you, I gave that up. And I've even turned the TV down. And I don't mean turn down the volume. I mean, I flipped the TV down, face down. So I don't get the idea about watching TV for a long time. It's been about, you say, you know, you're going to say, but eventually you told us it was like two years since you watched TV. But to be honest with you, it's been almost six years since I watched TV, since I really sat down and watched TV. It's been about six years. I was thinking about that last night. And it was so weird. It was. When I went to a restaurant to order food to go. Had my mask on. Everything. You know. Ready to go. Sitting there waiting for them to say, Mr. Da Vinci, your food is ready. Here you go. And they had a, uh, they had one of those TVs in the lobby. And it was one of those, uh, you know, one of those game shows. And I was like fixated on it. And everything looked orchestrated. Everything looked like. It was weird. I don't know how to explain it. That's what they do to you out here. They don't really take control of you. They just, you become part of them. After being out here for so long. You get away from the TV for at least, at least three months. And don't watch television or anything like that. You can still watch competition. You can still watch sports. You can still watch a few things. You know, like Nature Channel, Nova, all that kind of stuff. Discovery Channel. As long as it's not a reality TV show or, you know, game show or something like that. But it was like that card game show. You know, with the guy from the Fresh Prince. You know, he put on a little bit of weight. <laughs> and I was sitting there watching it and I didn't even blink an eye. Because it looked so weird. It did. They look almost like puppets. I'm not I'm talking about the way they look. I'm talking about the way they moved. It was like too mechanical. Every last one of them. And I was just sitting there thinking to myself. The human race is lost. They are. They have no idea. About reality. They don't. And these out here will be the first ones to tell you all about it. One of the scariest CVPs. The scariest answers I ever got. When they're just talking to me out there. In heaven. At Amagala Falls. That one time. And towards the end of the video, someone said something, something, there's no more reality. Reality is non-existent. So I guess it's part of my job to just let you know that in a different way. I guess through my videos. I know. I guess the only TV I watch is my own videos. I think we might have something. I don't know. It's stuck. It might not be anything at all. Dang it. Look at the size of that fake spear tip. <laughs> right there. That might be a fake one. I don't see any real working on it. It looks just like a broken. Broken a rock. <laughs> yeah. Dang. I could be wrong though. It looks like it doesn't have an edge on it. You're getting excited. Your heart is pounding like mine. Yeah, I'm going to be out here all day. But I hope you're able to watch my TV. My TV land. My Da Vinci videos. Da Vinci's world. The channel. Yeah, let's see. This fake thing right here is probably nothing at all, really. That is something. That's some kind of scraper. That's got to be. 
The right side says it right, but the, I think the left side is broken. Look at the size of that thing. That Yeah, I think that's some kind of scraping tool. I don't think it's a point. Dang, that thing's humongous. Looks like I just placed it there. I got to take a better look at that. That looks like napping right there. Yeah, I think maybe the left side is broken. That is humongous. But just because the way it's broken right there on that left hand side makes it look like it's fake. But the right side is different. We're keeping that joker. <laughs> oh man, they do the greatest things out here. I know I sound all crazy. It's not like they're making me crazy. Not at all. You're going to say, but Vinci, you are crazy. You live in a time of modern society and everything else. Thought I saw another edge. If you live in a time of modern society and you're out looking for ancient pieces and you don't watch TV, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> you don't do the futuristic things or the things of, you know, technology. You don't do that kind of thing like you stood for, like you stand for. It's future development. But you're wrong on that. You are. That's exactly what I stand for. But I'm always looking for what's from the past. To help me understand the future and where you're headed, where we're all headed. But if you forget your past and neglect, neglect it, you'll be screwed. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a point, a huge one at that. Just like the ones I took out of the hand I know it's broken, it's broken. Yeah. Cool. There's the answer right there. Bingo. Let me go ahead and keep on going. Day is getting better. I pray to the Almighty that they clean out this within the next month or so with the heavy spring rainstorms that flood the region because ain't no way I'm going to be able to come out here because there's going to be five snakes up in here <laughs> you guys are crazy yeah beautiful I know but I'll tell you one thing though if that right there was ever going to be some Native American pot I'll be crapping myself and throwing up at the same time <laughs> If only it was. Let's continue this recovery session for today. I'm going to be looking at every single rock that I can get my eyes on. Time to set the jug down. I might have another kind of ancient knife, like amateur. I don't know. That's exactly what that thing looks like. Some kind of, I'm not going to say spear tip. But that's exactly what it looks like. You know, there's going to be a snake there in like another month. I better hurry and get my butt out of here. <laughs> it all looks the same. Us? Well, I don't know. That's exactly what it looks like, though. It looks like it's been worked or something. Yeah, I think I'll keep it to study. That could be something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just hold on to it until I find something better. Yeah. <laughs> balance. All about that balance. Let's pray that they can balance my pockets today. I see something red and clay. I see consistency on it. Oh, yes, yeah, another piece. What the heck? That's part of a bowl, I think. Look at that thing. Another piece of the pot. And that's clay. Yeah, that's like red on the outside. Weird. Red on the, on the inside. They must have, well, paint probably doesn't last a thousand years. <laughs> or does it? Huh, cool looking piece right here. Well, it's more like brown. Cool. Let me go ahead and add it to the pocket. That's thick and sturdy. Almost passed right by it. 
I know you're hoping for the, the stone tools. Pottery is always going to be abundant everywhere we go, no matter where we go. Ooh, that's a thin piece right there. Look how thin that thing is. Crap. Paper thin on that. No wonder it broke. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> I don't think I can add this to the pocket. I got two Budweiser's in my pockets. Yeah, the smaller ones. I thought I saw an edge right here. No, nothing. Yeah, that's too that's too thin to add to the pocket. We won't have to carry this around in our hands. For real though. Cause that thing will break easily. Probably the next step I take. Uh oh. He set down the jug. <laughs> about five feet later from that spot right there still having a hand yeah lovely items though there's something about human construction yeah but there's one right here too that's definitely got to be one. Oh wow look at that thing I'm playing with it That's more ancient than this piece, probably. <laughs> Let me add him to the hand. The big one goes into the pocket. Some reinforcement for us. the Budweiser cans, probably. That's cool right there. Ancient. Let me keep on going. I know everything looks like a knife or a blade or something out here. Let's hope that's going to be the case. <laughs> Let me know if I missed something. About one minute and 16 seconds later, there's something black in the water. I kicked it and it didn't budge. I bet it's a piece of the pot. Oh, I see a design on it from here. Heck yeah, all right, okay. Not a transitional piece, transitional paleo, but <laughs> could be close to it be terribly wrong could only be about maybe 800 years old maybe 650 maybe 428 maybe 1428 <laughs> same spot I know like deja vu all I did was see another little tiny black piece right next to it and picked it out of the water and it's another piece I know you guys are gonna say but the fence you're getting close to some kind of place Ah, oh, it's a rock. Some kind of location. Yeah, but there's nothing out here but wooded area. <laughs> That's cool, though. Add those two big pieces to the pocket. Yeah. Keep on going. One of the best finds all day. I know you're going to make fun of me. Like you always do. There he goes. <laughs> Desiring that balance of nature. <laughs> cool don't shake it off it teaches you something got another one of these little ancient shells that I find up here all the time this is like the fourth one in the past six or seven months solid like glass porcelain Huh, interesting. They seem to be only up here though. Cool. I know you're just thinking I found something the size of an ancient shell from a few hundred thousand years ago or something. Probably older, probably younger. Yeah. Add it to the artistic natural collection. But nothing else yet to report upon. Unfortunately. But we still have a good two miles to cover on the other side we'll find more down there trust me but I still have a half a mile to go through here bingo you think I found something no not yet I don't think I've walked this slow 
since the day after I left Amicalola Falls and doing all those uh <laughs> those stairs and I'm trying to break that record I'm trying to get up to 500 flights sometime soon I don't know but I come across this kind of stuff every now and then I do like there's a burn layer here you know you got the the clay soils that they used to use to make the pots you got the transition the orange and the gray cool yeah it's the kind of clay that they used to use to make the pots but then I always come across this stuff I don't know if that's a burn layer or not yeah but it's only in this one tiny spot usually that's how I find it it doesn't spread out more than about 15 or 20 feet in some spots but I don't know if this is where the original layer was before you know time kept on going and kept building it up who knows I could be terribly wrong with that that could be just some kind of carbon layer that's not really from the natives I don't know I've always studied this kind of stuff makes me think that the creek was in a different location and just dropped down over time and that's where it ended up as soon as the creek ended up on this side over here I don't know yet yeah good theory though I come across that every now and then yeah let me go ahead and keep on going with it <sighs> looking at every little rock is not easy <laughs> yeah but I will be filling the pockets up Well, this is an update I do not want to be given at this moment. Yeah. Talk about a long way from the parking location. And I haven't even gone to the other side of the creek. Yep. You'll never guess what happened. These dang jokesters out here. Man. Well. I slipped on the side and uh, not right here I was you know trying to climb up somewhere else further down and my left foot slipped and it went to the water and I you know it it twisted and I felt a pop sure did feels hot it itches and every time I try to move it around or something it starts to burn maybe it's what I said maybe when I was talking about a few minutes earlier on how this is the slowest I've walked other than the day after I left Amaglola Falls doing 300 flights of stairs more than 300 maybe they took that as a lie and they made me slip let's hope it's just a simple sprain the only thing that's on that's on my mind right now is I definitely got to go to the gym and I've been going hardcore but if I can't go for three weeks to a six weeks because of a sprained ankle you know I do things Da Vinci style you know I do and I never give up you better believe the back of my ankle is just like <laughs> tender and you know something went wrong when you start getting nauseated you know you know something went wrong when you start getting nauseated I still feel like I'm about to throw up man you talk about walking slow and I have to go all the way back to the Vinci vehicle I'll get myself into out here at the furthest point I had to snap my ankle you guys crazy with this I know I'm just trying to relax make more room in the pocket but of course way back there is where I did it about 200 feet back you better believe I kept on going you're gonna say but Vinci, you crazy you sprain your ankle and you're still going forward <laughs> You're still going to try to go out looking for the good stuff. 
<laughs> with a sprained ankle. <laughs> I got a secret for you though. The big secret. One time I sprained my ankle when I was in school. I did. I fell off the bleachers. Not really fell, somebody pushed me. A bunch of bullies. You know, you got to push in uh, the bleachers that you push in. So I always had this little spot that I sat in at the very top, you know, where they had the flat side where it's pushed in. And you climb on like the, the top of it. And I had this one spot I always used to sit before school started. And I climbed up there. Not climbed up, but you know, I climbed up the, the stairs, the bleacher stairs to get to my little spot. And I didn't know they were bullies until that day. And right when I passed in front of them, they shoved me off. And I landed on my left ankle and it snapped. I didn't break it, I just sprained it terribly. And it still pops till this day. Until this day, that is. Let's see if I can put pressure on this thing. Heck yeah, I can. And it itches like crazy. Yeah, but I played baseball that that season. I was like 15 years old in this little, you know, whatever baseball league I played in. And I still played. I told them, do not take me out of the lineup. I batted last, I did. I, you know, I played right field where, you know, they never hit the ball. <laughs> and it was like... I am today. I could barely move and I was limping up to the plate and the weirdest thing happened. You talk about going backwards. The pitchers never even took advantage of that. They said, who's this kid coming up to the plate who can barely even put pressure on his ankle? And I walked every single time. Dang. I do things Da Vinci style. Oops, there we go. Got to be careful. I can't even turn it to the side. Uh, yeah. Dang jokesters out here. The cherubs playing the game. Yeah, the outside is killing. It is. What the heck do I get myself into out here? At least I can put pressure on it. Let me go ahead and keep on going with this. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side after I'm done out here. I'm not about to give up on that history. The things I go through, even with a sprained ankle. But I'll tell you one thing though. The next two weeks are going to be hell. And I'm still going to try to go to the gym. Da Vinci style, for real though. Is that an axe head? Nope. <laughs> They're playing. Of course, those are my boot prints from earlier today. About 11.30. Back to the beginning. It's kind of weird though, I don't know what's happening. The sprained ankle really isn't that bad at all. It's not. There's still a little bit of pain left. There is. But it seems like I can move pretty briskly out here. But not as fast as these guys. Or girls. <laughs> Yelling at each other. Must be the local high school kids out in the country. Yeah, dang. I can put a lot of pressure on my ankle. I can't. It's weird. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe I might be able to go to the gym tomorrow night. This is weird. I know, I know, I know. You're going to say, but Da Vinci, come on now. You know the healing process. For real, you do. You know the itching is caused by the histamine that floods to the location of the injury. Gives you an itching sensation. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know it's still a little bit tender, but... As time has gone, as time has gone by, the better it's gotten, which means 
it's probably a grade one strain and not a grade two or a grade three so i'm looking at about maybe three weeks but who knows maybe i'm looking at three hours all you got to do is pray maybe i did something wrong i don't know what i did but look at this piece of ice that i found hello mm. beautiful i know it's a different kind of piece of ice it's a piece of glass that could be a piece of a crystal i don't know though if that's a piece of glass, that's cool. We'll add it to the crystal collection. Wistful thinking, right? <laughs> that's got to be a piece of a TV or something. But if that's crystal, all I got to do is look for the opalescence, the reflection of the rainbow inside. But that might be just a piece of a, you know, TV glass or something. Deep out in the country, people like to trash their TVs in the creek. That's just whatever's left over. Let me go ahead and do this thing with a with a hurt ankle we still have about a mile to go and we have two hours to recover whatever we can today well 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 i recognize everything a mile away no matter what it is there's the green chair wonder how long it's going to stay there if it stays there more than a couple months <laughs> We're probably not going to recover anything next time we come out. Oh, who knows what they have out here the rest of the way. Or whatever we have to climb across or get on. Let's hope the beavers cleared it out. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Yeah. Let me go find that history right quick. And put some ice on my ankle when I get back to the Vinci pad. I know what you're going to say, you're going to say, but Da Vinci, it's not too bad now. Just you wait till tomorrow morning. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, I know. Ooh, archaeology class. Every time I've been hurt out in heaven, they always give me something. Part of the puzzle. And that's a big piece right there. Dang. Break out the toothbrush on this one. And the white gloves, I guess. If it's got that same design, it might be part of that pot that I, the top of that pot that I recovered last time. Dang, smooth on the inside, rough on the outside. Kind of like us. Beautiful. Perfect for a turtle to sit right there. Can't climb up on the bank. <laughs> I might slip and could you imagine if I had the right ankle sprain? Man, don't talk about that. But you know what? I will still keep going. <laughs> Dang challenge of the moment the one challenge i got to get across somehow with a sprained ankle all it takes is one little tiny twist and it's going to hurt again or i could go right through this thing but there's no climbing up on the bank in between all the briars <laughs> and i could slip again let's do this this way it's going to take a hot... Oops, that hurts. I just went down deep. Oh, man. The things I go through for history. Dang. <laughs> Clock is ticking. Got to climb through the briars. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt again. I don't. I've been standing here for five minutes on my bum ankle. The sprained ankle. All the weights on my sprained ankle. The water is deep right here. Deep right here. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt again. But last time I tried to attempt this, about three months ago, I fell face first after some logs gave way. <laughs> now I'm really stuck. <laughs> what the heck do I get myself into? The water is deep, but the sand's even deeper. Man, I'm going to have to take this thing apart like a jigsaw puzzle.
just don't slip. <laughs> what the heck do I do? Trying to walk on slippery rocks like ice with a sprained ankle. <laughs> I know you're going to say, but eventually humans have gone through worse, much worse. Of course they have. I know they have. I'm just trying to find the easy way through this place without climbing up on the banks again. The things I go through for items of historical significance. Beautiful. through that yet they stopped me right here right in my tracks of course I put the bottle down the jug they set that joker up right for us that's got to be a piece it is I know it's nothing nothing at all really but we'll recover it like we will everything else the right way check it out this is another one of those burn layers right there. Got the ash. That one little tiny layer. That's cool right there. Keep on going. Got to be another baby shard right here. It stands out like a perfect thumb compared to everything else right here. That's definitely a piece. No big deal. Another tiny shard. Even got design on it. Cool. Even with a slight touch, I can tell exactly what that thing is. What else is out here? Another big one gone. Yeah, we're going to make some more collections. We are. Don't you worry. <laughs> I was asking a question back there. Was it Satan who pushed me down the hill? I mean, was it Satan that made me slip and fall? And I'm, that's probably not the case at all. It's just the little cherubs out here playing their games. The ones who grow up out here. The little laws of nature. In their little zones, their circles out here. And all it was, was my weight combined with the laws of who they are. Which made me fall. It wasn't Satan. But I'll tell you that one thing though. I'm kind of glad it happened. I am. I'm glad that I sprained my ankle. You're going to say, but DaVinci, you're crazy. Well, I told you before, little things like that, as long as you survive, and it doesn't hurt too bad, it helps you remember the moment, the day, the time, whatever you're doing. And I'll never forget this day ever again, just because of that. Just like that story I told you about when I was playing baseball, and the bullies pushed me off the bleachers, and I went down like nine feet to the ground and sprained my ankle. Yeah. Every moment after that, I never forgot because I walked with it every single day for about two months. It felt like, and I even played the game and didn't sit my butt on the bench. Yeah. Cool. Let me go ahead and keep on looking. I don't know what else they have out here for us. I know I missed a whole bunch though. Of course, bingo. Sun's getting lower. Keep on going. Can't wait to see what my angle looks like <laughs> when I get back to the Vinci Studio. Talk about a run through video. Okay, another tough one. Probably deep on all sides, but check out the size of those gravel bars all the way up there. If we don't make it that far, we suck. Right in the middle. Dang, you're talking about like two hours of searching out in this heaven. 
that could have like five arcade points. Don't know yet. But we, I got to bend over with my sore ankle. <laughs> Dang. I, well, I know that's one. You don't have to tell me that. Uh, yeah. We're collecting the pottery again today. We are in this beautiful heaven. Yeah, I haven't looked over there yet, but I see a perfect triangle right here. And it's got a design on it. You can barely see that thing. I guess the only thing I'm able to collect now from heaven is the garbage. Can't collect the the real triangles that they made out here. They're going to tell on us. <laughs> I got to leave those out for now on. I told you that before. Yeah, let me go ahead and try to get my butt all the way up there. That might be my ending spot for the day. Please help me on this one. Another impossible deep spot on both sides. And I'm trying to use my own balance with a sprained ankle. What the heck do I get myself into out here? It wasn't that deep last time. Last thing I need to do is get onto the edge over here and try to get down and find out it's still deep. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? <laughs> I know you're saying, Da Vinci, you're being stupid. That's exactly what you're saying. Now is not the time to lose my equilibrium. Oh, crap. There ain't no way I can jump down. With a sprained ankle? I gotta make this. Let me concentrate real quick. This is dumb. Real dumb. But the Holy Grail is right there. And beyond that, I hope, I pray. Dang it. Here we go. Not as big as I thought. <laughs> oh heck, it's gargantuan. But after all that, it doesn't matter if I find anything the rest of the way. Well, in case you're wondering, those last two or three gravel bars that we're trying to get to yielded nothing at all historic, nothing at all, not even a shard of pottery. Yeah, dang. Let me go ahead and keep on going. There's a nearly impossible gravel bar to get around that's in front of us. Might be the end of the day. I don't know yet. Depends on if they cleaned it out or not during the last flood, which is the reason why we're collecting what we are today. Without them, we wouldn't have recovered this stuff. But they're trying to pull me someplace. Let's hope it's not to <laughs> get hurt again. At least we have an easy way out. Let me climb down here. Keep on going. What the fuck? What the heck? <laughs> you guys. Quit playing your games out here, cherubs. <laughs> no comment. For real, though. It's crazy, though. What is it about the pottery again today? Ooh, all right, all right. What do we have here? That is a wild looking one right there. Beautiful, keep on going with 12% left on the battery. Where are the killing devices at to get them out of heaven? Looks like this is going to be it for us today in this adventure of ours. Talk about an adventure. I just went two and a half miles with a 
sprained ankle. <laughs> oh, dang. Tomorrow is going to be, you know, I'm not going to say bad. It's just going to be different for us with the pain. Let's hope I don't tweak it in my sleep. Yeah. Well, looks like they're not going to give us anything else to recover out here. Nothing at all. You think I plan as something. Well, I never do that. That's why I love this game of theirs. Because you just go out. And whatever you run into at that point in time. That's what you run into. The beauty of it all. Beauty of the game. See you back at the DaVinci Studio. Hopefully we're not going to look at an ankle that's all purple. If I can even get it out of the waders, that is one of the hardest things I could do. Because you got to stand on one foot just to peel off the other one with the other foot. Let me go ahead and do this thing. figure something out they gave me a sudden last night they did they gave me an idea about something why I probably wasn't recovering the the things of historical significance out here and all the places that we've been going to it's been slim pickings for about four months I know we found a few here and there that's it you know and I'm not talking about the pottery the pottery is just a bunch of their ancient garbage. But it's the something about the arrowheads and the spear tips. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is at all with that kind of stuff, though. But they gave me an idea last night. They did. About the, the decorative little... You know, display hand inside the curio cabinet that was holding some very significant items. Six spear tips that we've collected over the course of the last three years, basically. Some very nice pieces. And they gave me this idea about emptying out the hand. Emptying out the hands. So they can be filled up later on. So how are you going to fill up a hand with significant items if it's already full? So I took the objects out and, you know, placed them someplace else. So the hand is empty. That thing will break easily. Probably the next step I take. Because that thing will break easily probably the next step I take because that thing will break easily probably the next step I take still having a hand yeah. still having a hand yeah. still having a hand yeah. welcome back to the studio it took about 25 minutes to get the <laughs> waiters off that's the fat joker right there <laughs> who's ready for the big reveal besides the uh 
the history in the back. What the heck? <laughs> Dang. Why am I laughing? I don't know. I just get joy out of everything, even a twisted ankle, if that's what it is. Man, that's fat. If you see purple, let me know. Man. <laughs> I had the purple go up as far as almost not up to the knees, but in the shins one time. All right. All right. Now you look at a bunch of dark. What the heck am I doing? All right. All right. Let me do this with two hands right quick. I know I had bedroom pants on underneath the uh, <laughs> cuss of the waiters. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's fat. For real. All right. Let me see what this thing looks like. Don't worry. My legs are not really that fat. Ooh. I don't even know what it looks like. I'm afraid to even look. Welcome to Da Vinci ER emergency room. Well, it's not that bad. Heck, it's not even purple. <laughs> we might have hit it right on this one. Oh, yeah, that's that's uh, oh, that hurts. Yeah, dang, stiff. Yeah, just a simple sprained ankle. That's all it is. Going to take about a week or two to heal. That hurts right there the second I even touch it. But for some reason, the top of my foot hurts. Just the trauma, I guess. All right. Let's go ahead and go through these artifacts real quick. We fought for those for real, though. Dang, the whole leg is swollen. <laughs> go figure. Well, there you have it. The epic story of today. You're looking right at it. Look at this beautiful masterpiece right here for this early spring day. Well, you know, late <laughs> first week of March, basically. Late winter, early spring. My first day of spring, really. But, you know, we have a lot of stories to tell. The things that we did, things that happened to us, besides what you're looking at. The things that they helped us collect, even though I got injured. You talk about a swollen ankle. And I'm standing on that joker right now <laughs> as I go through all this. Yeah. Let me go ahead and grab a seat right quick. Who knows how long I'm going to have to deal with this hurt ankle. I don't know. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. Because we had a blessed day for real, though. On this blessed weekend day perfect day out there in heaven for what we collected out there i know it's nothing much just a bunch of you know fractured garbage that's all stuff from the past but it was all pottery basically and a couple of other things that you probably never saw collected but you saw most of it you did as i hobbled along out there <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but it is throbbing at the moment. And it feels my feels like my stomach's about to turn over. Yeah. But I'll <laughs> I'll live through the night, hopefully. Yeah, but look at this collection right here. Okay, got the pottery here. It's nothing but pottery again today out there in heaven. In that location. So blessed to recover such a collection. Don't ever let this stuff get lost. Can't afford to have all this stuff forgotten. Yeah. 
beautiful. Some things are weird. I don't know what they are. <laughs> just pick them up. Yeah, and other things just like garbage. Mm -hmm. And some other major pieces of history right up in here. Yeah, look at this broken off. Right before I hurt the ankle, just about. Look at that thing right there. That thing would have been a massive joker. Looks like I better bring out the, uh, the, uh, what do you call that brush? The metal brush to try to clean this thing off. Would have been a massive knife right here on that. Cool. I know the top is broken. Maybe I'll recover it five years from now. I don't know. That is if I'm able to, you know, heal the ankle. <laughs> and this thing right here. What is this? A round base? More a mountain round base? Another cleaning adventure with the metal brush. Yeah. Look at that thing. It's got to be a broken point. For real though. Got to be more than about five to seven thousand years old on this baby could be just some kind of scraping tool cool all right we're going to add it to the hand pile you know i'm trying to buy these hands that are holding things like a treasure cool like we always discover out there many things and got a little baby one here this has got to be some kind of point gotta be look at that thing that one little left side right here has been napped off. You never saw it captured on camera. I just saw it and studied it for a little bit. And now I'm bringing it to your attention on this. Yeah, gotta be some kind of one of a kind point though. Gotta be. I've never seen the bottom like that. And then the side is actually the bottom. <laughs> gotta be a weird piece right here. Got to scrub that thing off to see how clear it really is. To help us see the light. Weird one for real. Got to be one. Got to be one. Got some crazy things right here. Cool. All right. Add it to the geologic pile. Geological pile. Rock pile. Same thing here. Geometries within the cube in all directions. Adding to the pile. Ancient shell probably... At least 50,000 to 100,000 years old on this. Seems like the last 10 I've ever collected has been in that one location. Well, within a 10 mile radius, that is. Of that one location. I'm always looking for the best. In a piece of TV glass, television glass, I thought it was like a quartz crystal. But I'm yet to see the rainbow on the inside of it. So that just tells me that this is a piece of glass. Cool. Abstract, artistic, whatever. And a piece of garbage here. Just throw it away. That's it. Throw it into the pile. Cool. Bad. And then you've got the big pieces here. Most of these have no design. Some of them are just broken. Don't ask me what happened to these things here. I think I might have broke something. When I emptied out the bag, it's so fragile though. That's just like a, yeah, a piece of wood or something. Cool, all right. Probably came from this thing. The heck is that? It looks like it's plastic and it's burned. What the heck? <laughs> Talk about a different piece of pottery right here. I don't know about this one. Could be an ancient piece of ash. Hold on for a minute. I'll take a look at that later, off camera. That'll be on my own time, not your time. Got another piece here. Solid as a rock. Concrete. Yeah, cool. Piece of this one here. Gotta be. Yeah, matches like everything else. Alright, cool. Yeah, nothing real big right here. Except the top of a bowl or a pot. A bowl. Excuse me, I was about to say boiler. <laughs> Look at that brim right there on that thing, right? Yeah, downright cool right there. No design on it. Maybe about 1,500 years old right here. Could be 790. Could be 809. Yeah, I know. I mentioned alone. This thing here, cool. Got a little bit of design on it. I know I'm yet to even look on the other side to see if there's going to be some kind of fingerprint. Like I always do. And this thing here. Oops. Be careful. 
<laughs> this has got some kind of design on it. You can barely make it out. And look at that. Yeah, it's got a cold joint right there going on. Probably was created like that 1300 years ago. Thank you, Lord, for helping us recover these things right here. Got to be very careful with this collection. Yeah. A little dirty, but very ancient. Cool. Muddy. Same thing here. Cool. Got a little design on it. You saw some of these things. It's even got a little rub off going on. But the star of the show in the pottery today, I'd say at least... 15 to 1700 years old on this one here. I don't know. There's something that I remember about the consistency of this. Yeah, the sand tempered clay pottery. There's something that I remember about it though. I don't know what it is. It just stands out in my soul. Cool. Yeah. No design on it though. Just part of a bigger piece. Yet to be recovered completely. Okay, cool. What about this one? Fattest piece of the day. Probably part of a bottom of a small bowl or something like that. There's the pinch mark right there. Bam. Where they pinched it into shape. Yeah, you better believe I'm tired. The ankle's throbbing. It's almost purple by now. <laughs> After taking off those, uh, you know, those boots. The waiters, dang, it's going to be hurting them more, for real though. And then our first pointer rock of the day, finger pointer rock, pointing us into the right direction. Nice piece of quartz. Flawless in my book. Hope you enjoyed a little adventure. I know it wasn't much, but it was quite the adventure when you hurt yourself. And then it leads you to find something else that you'll never forget because of the pain. Ever. In a day I'll never, ever forget. Thank you, Lord, for that one. See you in the next video. Hopefully it's going to be a lot sooner than you could ever expect. I don't want to be laid up because of some hurt ankle for weeks to come. Let's hope that never happens.